Okay, so so here's a little trick to uh, get through here. Like, they're all dealing with this stuff back there. I kind of pulled everything over there because I want to show you this. Okay, when I pull this boy, kill him, everything's going to aggro me. So I'm going to go into hide. And if I were to run toward the door, things would re-aggro onto me because they'll follow me a little bit. So I'm going to hang out back here, let them run toward me, then go into hide and run toward the door. And I'll show you why. He didn't die immediately. Oh no. Okay, now he's dead. Now I'm hidden. Okay, now I'm at the fortress door. Okay. And nothing should be aggroed onto me, so I can go onto the door here. And everything is busy not paying attention to me, including the great big uh, cannons or turrets. And as long as I get this door down before the modified cannon dies, uh, the uh, turrets will despawn. So that's why I'm doing this. And I'm really kind of just AFKing this. I thought it would be fun to show you this little trick. It does make things go a little bit faster and it's more fun to just try out different things when you run this every day. Okay. See, now everybody's here, but the turrets are gone. So I'm gonna get their attention. Come on, boys. And these guys are just about done, so that's perfect. And I'm gonna keep these guys leashed, so I just go back and smack them. All right, because otherwise they'll reset and then it's, you know, there's no point in pulling them. Okay. Ooh, 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 he's gonna just explode. Got him. All right. And I'll just get these guys a little closer. Feel like getting hit anymore? Ah, uh, bye. <laughs> I love the stealth mode in this. Let's see, we're pretty much done. Now I know my time is terrible because I literally was AFKing until I decided to record this. But if you do this like in a real, um, a real situation, it does save you time because it kind of everybody's taken care of. Come on, boys and lady, named Joel. Um, yeah, so now we go up here, and whenever I pull, um, the main dude, just to be saucy, I'm gonna kill this so they don't get him. Okay, so the, I like to be ahead of them and pull him, and I like to pull him and then turn him around. So when he does this little drag skill, he only gets me, and it lets my sorcerer and my ranger DPS from afar. I don't have to worry about them getting pulled in and... It's not because they're gonna die, but they won't get as much aggro from the side mobs And the reason I don't want them to have aggro from the side mobs is sometimes they end up paying more attention to the mobs than they do to the boss and It takes up more time that way. So what I like to do is keep the boss as their central focus Does that make sense? Because you'll see like Roxy or something like Roxy's the tank if you get enough of these little shoelax, like, they'll be hitting her and she'll be like, oh fine, I'm gonna go fight all the shoelax. And you're like, Roxy, DPS the boss. We're on a time limit here. So the more you can keep Roxy in line, the better. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's basically my thing with them. Now we were AFK, we're still making decent time. I don't know if we'll make 47 minutes. We might. Um, but we just sort of lazied our way through here. <laughs> But I always just like this instance, just because I, I have so many alts, so I run it so often. And it's just like, I like finding new things to do with it. Because, you know, doing the same thing over and over every day gets boring. So you gotta do stuff that's more fun. Yeah, these are the guys too that'll get, um, get Roxy going and all the other uh, NPCs that we have. So you want to get them off of them. If, if they're on you, it's fine, because you know you're going to pay attention to the boss. But can't trust your NPCs. Your NPCs get distracted. The only time I don't worry about my NPCs is on the second boss because he does so much damage um, he's gonna always have the most aggro because he's doing the most damage to them and like these guys just sort of tink 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 at you. But second boss actually hurts you so the NPCs get more angry. So 
so that's that's pretty much it like the, you know the rest you're just going after the dude and whatever but and at this point see he pulls everybody toward him and see look at over here what did i tell you roxy is the first person to get off of target darn it roxy and harris is just you know peer pressure <laughs> see here's roxy fighting the little tiny things you gotta keep your NPCs in line, man. They'll just wander off on you. I seem to have a theme where I'm making a lot of videos about wandering NPCs. <laughs> Maybe my expectations are too high. <laughs> um, oh, will we make it? Let's see. Okay. I'm trying to keep these guys. See, they're all going for Roxy because they know. And see, this is where you don't have to really pay as much attention to the guys on the side. Because they're just going to keep on spawning. But I, I have little places here where I could sneak in to get my... Get rid of their stunning bomb. And I'm happy to do that. But you see, because he yoinked them in... Um, looks like the, the ranger made it. Didn't get yoinked, but... Everybody else is kind of stuck under here. So they're all going to be paying attention to the boss now. But um, it's in the beginning where if you're trying to make good time, um, you know, you want all the NPCs working with you, you know, not doing their own thing. You gotta control your NPCs. Very important. Did they change the animations on this? My, my computer just freaking out. Doesn't matter. Yeah, see things like this. Electric Slash. Just like the stun it does so much damage to them it's like not like it's gonna hurt them but I'm like keeping their focus and another thing if you're let's say you are like you don't have as much gear and like if you have a lot of these on you it's gonna kill you what I do is let's see how many of them I can get before they come here guys no they're gonna die okay all right, well, anyway, pretend I have a whole bunch of mobs and I want to get them off my case in a quick fashion. This will do. See how they all come around the corner? Let them all come over. Whack! Rather than having to, like... Oh, I probably should have gotten rid of him. I mean, you can go into hide, too, but that's only a temporary solution. But going around the corner like that forces them all kind of into the same area. And when they do that, um, ooh, I dawdled. Can I do this in seven seconds? Probably not. But um, it brings all of the mobs over and uh, they get them off your piece. So it's kind of nice. I'm going to miss it by like five seconds. Aww. Oh, wow. It's less I have to like clean up when it's over. I feel like I don't like to have all these things hitting me when I've finished the instance. So I like clearing them up. There, we're done. With a, an A rank. I should have paid more attention. 